Uh, good morning to all. I'm Indra, uh, working as assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, RMK College of Engineering and Technology. And currently, I'm pursuing a PhD under the guidance of uh, Dr. Mm -hmm. Ray Pandian, sir, principal and professor uh, of Savita Engineering College. The title of my research work is an improved flood forecasting system with cluster based visualization and analyzing using GK alphas and CGDNN algorithm. Just, uh, yes. So, on an overview, I have given the problem statement, the objective, motivation, the challenges and big data, the survey, issues of existing system, tentative proposed system, the proposed system architecture, and I have cited some of the references too. It's coming to the problem statement. So, uh, my uh, domain is uh, big data. So, big data means a uh, 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 huge volume of data. It, it can be in terms of petabytes, terabytes, zigabytes. That is huge volume uh, of data is referred to as big data. And now, uh, uh, the entire, it is ruling the entire world now. So, and uh, when, when we just consider a big data, so obviously the first, uh, we have to process the data. So for processing the data, we use we normally use the classification algorithm. So in the existing classification algorithm for uh, flood prediction method, so most of the algorithms, uh, it has been observed that the classification accuracy uh, is found to be low and it has uh, took more uh, computational time in order to process the data. So I have taken that as one of the problem statement and another one. So in the analysis phase, uh, in order to analyze the big data after pre-processing, uh, we'll be using the uh, neural network algorithm. So the existing neural network algorithm, it has been observed that the training time was very high due to the back propagation technique that has been employed in order to reduce the error. So I have considered uh, these two as my problem statement. So to overcome the classification accuracy to be low and uh, in order to reduce the computation time in my proposed system and also uh, uh, to implement the neural network algorithm so that I can reduce my training time in order to train the big data. So this is this is this has been chosen as my uh, uh, problem statement. And for that, so I have uh, given the objective of my research work is to perform efficient visualization analyzing system for Twitter flood big data using GK Gaussian kernel alphas and CGDNN algorithm. So uh, my research work has got the following objectives. One in order to create the flood forecasting system on Twitter big data by introducing the levy flight based means clustering uh, uh, technique to reduce data visualization processing time and also to increase the, the efficiency of data visualization. Uh, I'm going to use the Gaussian kernel and FIS algorithm and for implementing the neural network for analysis, analyzing process, I, I'm going to use the conjugate gradient deep neural network algorithm and uh, i have taken uh, one more objective as the uh, 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 i'm going to compare the proposed technique with the existing te technique using the result parameters like a precision recall f measure and accuracy yes. so the main motivation behind uh, 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 starting this uh, research work is about the big data because as i told you that it uh, it means much more than a change in technology and it, uh, by being representing a structural transformation uh, uh, as to how we, we all the enterprises, all the organizations will be managing the data that has to be stored for them. And moreover, nowadays we use Hadoop and cloud-based analytics, uh, which comes under the big data technologies. Uh, uh, so uh, as, as a cost advantages when it comes to store large amounts of data. And moreover, nowadays, uh, most of the organizations, they, they suffer from managing and storing those big data substantially. So that's why uh, this may be the may be as a motivation to uh, to this uh, um, key challenges in big data. Uh, so there are many key challenges in big data like data storage, volume, velocity, variety, processing, uh, and so on, as given in the slide. And I have chosen my visualization and analyzing as uh, uh, all these uh, both these uh, key challenges have been addressed in my uh, uh, proposed system. Yes. So I've given some of the literature review before getting into the proposed work. So in the first thing, so in each and every paper, for each and every paper, so I have given the problem statement and what are the what is the solution encountered and what is the outcome. 
So uh, uh, coming to the first one uh, about the flood forecasting based on improved extreme learning mission model combined with the backtracking search optimization algorithm. So the problem statement is the existing ELM model may suffer from local minima because of the random generation of input rates. So because, uh, since uh, the input rates are randomly generated, uh, so it may lead to hidden layer biases. So, so obviously it results in the uncertainty in flood forecasting model. So this is a problem statement and the solution, uh, they, have, they have used backtracking search algorithm in order to op optimize the parameters of ELM model. And the results, uh, obviously, they have uh, uh, provided with efficient outcome analyzed to GRNN and also ELM designs in both training as well as testing phases. But but when you just, uh, when they uh, try uh, the backtracking search algorithm for huge amount of data, so uh, it, the solution was found to be imperfect. Coming to the next one, a novel hybrid extreme learning mission approach improved by K-nearest neighbor method and fireworks algorithm for flood forecasting medium and small watershed of losses region. So here, so uh, the problem is they aimed at enhancing the ELM design. So for that, they use KNN, FWA, ELM hybrid fire, uh, FF design, that, that is your flood forecasting design, uh, which has been applied to the different surface conditions and flood grades. And results almost demonstrated uh, simulation performance and higher simulation accuracy has been encountered as an outcome when compared to the ELM model. Moving to the next one, exploring a long short-term memory-based encoder-decoder framework for multi-step ahead for flood forecasting. Uh, that is their problem statement. And the solution is being a feed-forward neural network-centered encoder-decoder design was built, which aims at analogy process. And the result, uh, almost it was uh, the training time was quite higher. Uh, that decremented the approach. Accuracy was higher, but the training time was found to be higher in case of feed forward neural network center encoder decoder design for flood forecasting model. Moving to the next one as interpretable spatial temporal attention uh, model for flood forecasting. So here the great challenge is to normalize the data for electing the hyper parameters in order to train the design. So here the solution they have given your STA ISTM design which has been centered on LSTM and attention methodology. So experimental, experimental outcomes reveals that uh, this methodology outshined the historical average or uh, the convolutional uh, neural network, the fully connected network. Uh, uh, and moreover, the gradient uh, uh, descent, descendant problem also uh, has been uh, um, improved over this model by implementing this model. Maybe the next one has fuzzy expert system-based framework for flood management. So the problem statement is due to lack of... Uh, adequate training capabilities in place to address dynamic change of flood risk and vulnerabilities in some areas. So, so they developed a CER framework and the result of evaluation indicated higher agreement on effectiveness and productivity of the uh, rendered framework. Moving to the next one as flood forecasting system based on integrated big and crowdsourced data by using machine learning techniques. So here, the problem statement was uh, the existing tools were typically based on manual input. So uh, they thought of uh, just uh, uh, using a novel flood forecasting system based on fusing metrological, the hydrological, geospatial, crowdsourced big data in an adaptive machine learning framework. And moreover, uh, the results also rendered a, a, a fruitful uh, thing for flood forecasting model. Then is a detection of flood disaster system based on IoT, big data, and convolutional deep neural network. Here to find a unique solution to gather, store, and analyze big data in order to predict results related to flood-based prediction system. So detection of flood disaster using convolutional deep neural network algorithm is being employed. Uh, and uh, the outcome is compared with the existing algorithms and almost it has given the accurate result other than the existing methods and uh, coming to the last one OFFM and FIS analysis for flood, flood prediction using mobile iOS fog and cloud computing so here uh, the problem statement is uh, suffering from disastrous effect of flood due to lack of consideration of small scale flood affecting parameters and the solution they have rendered OFFM they have implemented OFFM and FIS algorithm that make decision on flood forecasting on the basis of trained data and analysis of received census data. And almost 
Evaluation of proposed mechanism is done on the basis of data provided by the meteorological department and the effectiveness uh, uh, of the proposed system is uh, uh, was uh, found to be uh, good. Then, uh, 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 coming to my issues of the existing system, so uh, in the uh, applied in the existing uh, classification technique for uh, classification of big data, the computational time is found to be high. And the training time to train the big data due to back propagation technique was found to be more in existing neural network algorithm. So these issues are being addressed in my proposed work. And uh, in, in the proposed work, uh, so I, I, I've just divided them into two phases. One is the visualization phase and another one is analyzing phase, wherein, wherein which I'm going to visualize uh, the Twitter flood big data and visualization phase and uh, in the analysis phase, uh, the processing is being done on the pre-processed and visualized uh, flood big data. Because since as I told you that big data is a huge amount of data, so once if the visualization uh, process is uh, uh, done inaccurately, so obviously the analysis phase will render a, 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 false, um, a false error or a false output. So that's why, so in the visualization phase itself, almost data pre-processing and classification is done accurately by using the uh, levy flight based K-means algorithm and Gaussian kernel based ANFIS algorithm. And after the, uh, the output of the visualization phase is being rendered to the analysis phase, wherein which again uh, a pre-processing of data is being done and uh, it has been subjected to uh, uh, train the data using conjugate gradient uh, new, deep neural network algorithm. So in the proposed work, uh, uh, so I, I uh, included two major phases. One as visualization phase and another is analyzing the Twitter flood big data. So in visualization phase, uh, uh, I'm going to use the levy flight based K-means algorithm for the process of clustering the input data. And uh, uh, data visualization is done by using Caution kernel based ANFIS algorithm in order to improve the performance of the rule generation process. And uh, um, in the analyzing phase, conjugate gradient deep neural network algorithm is being uh, uh, implemented, uh, will be implemented in order to train the pre processed data set. So, as I told you, in the issues of uh, uh, existing system, so due to the back propagation problem for training the neurons. So in order to reduce the error, existing neural network, there, 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 there happens, a, uh, there incurred a more training time is required. So that's why here conjugate gradient technique is included, which reduces the, uh, even though if it implements back propagation in order to reduce the error, it will be um, seen to it that the training time is much reduced. And also the training accuracy, Okay, so training time and training accuracy also have to be considered. So for that, the hidden layers will be increased. So that is why this algorithm is referred to as deep neural network algorithm. So after the data is being trained, the trained system will be tested by using k-fold testing method. So this is my proposed framework for forecasting flood data visualization phase. So I'm going to use all these modules and removing repeated tweets. tweets pre-processing the data, feature extraction, clustering the tweets, data visualization. And in analyzing phase, I'm going to use the pre-processing and training and uh, testing. Then uh, moving to the proposed framework architecture. So the input uh, uh, is nothing but the flat Twitter big data set. So first, it will be subjected to visualization phase, wherein which uh, I'm going to use the Hadoop uh, HDFS, Hadoop Distributed File System, since uh, we are going to deal about the big data. So uh, here, I'm going to use a map and reduce function in order to repeat, remove the repeated tweets. Then after the repeated tweets are being removed using HDFS technology, so it is subjected to pre-processing, wherein which the following process is being carried out like splitting, uh, stemming, lemmatization, URL removal. So all these processes are being carried out using the pre-processing, pre-processing phase, which is being rendered. The output of the pre-processing phase is given to the feature extraction. So wherein which uh, um, uh, here the tweets based on the name finder, location finder, date and time finder. Uh, so feature is being extracted and the output of the feature extraction is being given to the uh, next data visualization. 
uh, using your uh, levy flight k-means uh, algorithm for clustering the feature extracted uh, uh, data and after the uh, clustering is done data visualization is being carried out by Gaussian kernel and FIS algorithm and the output of analyzing phase is uh, sorry the output of visualization phase is given to the analyzing phase uh, uh, wherein which the again uh, as I told you pre-processing will be done wherein which uh, repet repetition removal missing value imputation or normalization all these processes being carried out after which it is being given for training and testing. So for training here, conjugate gradient deep neural network is will be employed and for testing k-fold k -fold, uh, cross validation is being carried out and this is my entire proposed uh, framework uh, architecture in order to perform uh, my uh, flood forecasting uh, uh, implementation model. Uh, I have cited some of the references too and uh, thank you.